Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Plays. Welcome back to Congo, where we are about to hop back in the game. I watched the last episode, well, a few minutes of it, to see where we left off. And we had just pieced out with France and Scotland to get some power projection and a little bit of land for our colony in Australia. France is looking a little weaker than before, but he's still very strong, very potent. Um, I was kind of hoping he would be you know, much weaker after that war, but at the same time, a strong France could be good for us. Our allies are currently Hungary, England, Portugal, and Spain. And the only two of those that I plan to, well, no, I plan on breaking three of them. The only one that I plan on keeping is Hungary, because we need land from Spain, Portugal, and England all here. So we'll see how that goes. Anyway, let's get back in game. It's been like a week since I've played, maybe longer. It's been a while since I've played. I've been on a RimWorld binge for, for a while. Let me get my hat on. Because my head is El Colderuni. That's better. Alright, so we are back. Check out the military of the world. Commonwealth has 113. We should probably look into getting the Commonwealth as an ally. Although he's a little farther away than Hungary. Still very potent. And it looks like Russia would be a good ally as well. How's relations with them? Oh, 65? 66? Yeah, relations are nice. Oh, right, Commonwealth has a union over Norway. He's annexing, isn't he? Yeah, he's almost done. All right. Let's put our map open. Bingo. My keyboard in the right spot. All right, let's look around a bit. Where are we? Newfoundland, 13 colonies. You guys going to get independence anytime soon? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. England's colonies want independence right now. What about France's colonies? Uh, a little bit. Not quite there. Mexico? Yeah. New Spain? Not yet. Scottish Mexico? Not really. Hispaniola? No. New Grenada? No. Portuguese Brazil? Oh yeah, there we go. So independence supported by Timbuktu and Tuscany. Now that would be fun. So Timbuktu and Tuscany would join a war against Portugal... I wonder who would win that, because Portugal would be the defender. He would bring in me, Holland, and Spain. That might be a good time to turn on him. Perhaps. Anyway, in the meantime, we're looking at new rivals. I believe we spoke of the Ottomans as a possible rival. I don't think Scotland's going to be able to be a rival anymore. France probably still can, but Scotland, no. We could do the Ottomans, and I don't really want to do anyone else. Then again, we might want to have the Ottomans as an ally. He currently likes us, well, a little bit. No, we'll rival the Ottomans. Let's get that out of the way. All right. Start sending him some hate mail. We can embargo him. Enjoy that. If we embargo to France? No, nope. yeah, we did. Scotland? Nope, never did. We get our troops home? No. Okay, so I need to find out where our navies are. Navies. Do you have anyone on those boats? Looks like no. Well, why don't we go pick up this navy then? Or this army. I guess we can pick them up from the Irish Sea? I don't know. Whatever. Let's get over there, pick them up. Uh, where else do we have troops that we need to get home? Let me turn on armies real quick. I normally have this turned off. 2,000 guys on a boat. You're going here to protect this colony. Ah, yes, protect this colony. Okay. Uh, 2,000 guys right there. 7,000 guys here protecting this colony, which is done. So we're coring that. Oh, and one more and we'll be able to start eating up this area of Africa. Nice. Do we want to fight Tunis anytime soon? You know, we could. He did westernize, though. How's our tech? 19. Yeah, I think we should keep teching up before we try it. Maybe we'll go for Eastern Africa first. I mean, you guys, your allies are shits. Yeah, your allies are shit. Losing a war to Mutapa. So Mutapa seems very strong. He's not Western, but he's able, with all his gold mines, he's got like five or six gold mines. With all his gold mines able to beat up these guys, which is cool. Who are your allies, by the way? Oman. Interesting. All right. So we need to colonize right here, and then we can eat some of this shit here. Start moving into Mamluks, Makuria, and all this stuff. 
Because we do need all that land. Alright, what else are we doing over here? We're colonizing some of Indonesia. Yeah, some of New Zealand. Although this isn't really important, but we're doing it anyway. Okay. Um, have we finished South Africa? No, there's one more. All right. Where are these armies? That one's going to pick up. This one's sitting in Jebu. And where's this one? Luanda. Oh, right. We took this from Holland, so we're forcibly converting it now. Gotcha. We have missions to restore the currency, which will bring inflation below 5%. It will give us booming economy for 10 years. Or get missions to eat some land in India. And I would really like to eat, it, eat land in India because there's some good modifiers we can get from that. The problem is, I don't think we could really beat Bengal right now. I mean, we could try. But it would be a big war. Yarkand? Yarkand's big. And Malwa. Malwa's not that big. But it would still be a big war. It would give us a claim on this province, Bengal Delta. It's nice. It's got silk. It's an important... No, it's not important. It's an estuary, though. Yeah, that is, that is so tempting. It's not a bad idea. And we do have some manpower to burn. How many troops does Bengal have? 40,000. No, not going over there. If he ever starts losing a war or something, then I'll consider it. Meantime, how are things with Spain? Nice. Portugal? Perfect. Russia? Pretty damn good. Hungary? Almost perfect. Let's go top off Hungary. Do we have a marriage? Of course we do. Don't we have the same dynasty as Spain? Yes, we do. We have the same dynasty as Spain. That is fantastic. Because there is a chance that we'll get his, his throne somehow. And we should keep relations up with all the other powerful people in Europe. And it looks like we've been doing that. Good. Yeah. What about the Pope? Yeah, we kept relations with the Pope as well. We've done a pretty good job of keeping relations up. Nice. My only concern is time. How much time do we have left in the game? 145 years. It's not very much. All right, get on the boat. And go home. Oh, that is a long sail home, isn't it? Holy shit. We're going to take some attrition on that route. Oh, well. Okay, we arrived in Waitaha. Let's get our ass over here to protect this colony. And I guess these boats can go home. Well... Yeah, I don't need these boats out here. Uh, well, that's not true, because we plan on colonizing more of Indonesia, right? So I guess I do need these boats here. Alright, just leave them there. Kind of weird seeing Russia in the Philippines. It's kind of cool, though. Yeah, 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 you got natives. Ain't my problem. Could kill the natives there, but the problem with killing the natives there... Oh, oh shit, there's 9,000 up there. Was that a mission? No, it wasn't. Alright, then why am I colonizing there with 9,000 natives? Oh, I can pick up... I can, I can handle it with this stack. Okay. So why don't you go drop off... Oh, shit, we're taking so much attrition. Yeah, drop those guys off. We'll pick up some more dudes to go over to New Zealand. But we've got to heal up this navy first. Holy shit, is it damaged. How's our income, by the way? 16 ducats. How's our inflation? That's going down. We have an advisor, right? Yeah. No, we actually have a missionary strength. Interesting. So we have, what? Usury, I think? Yeah, we have usury forgiven for another 18 years. Cool. So we actually don't need the advisor right now. Very nice. All right, let's go to the Pope. Let's get relations up with him. We're going to stay Catholic. We might as well get relations with the Pope. Keep those papal influence points going. Uh, keep relations up as much as we can with England. Even though he doesn't like us right now. Neighboring heretic religion. 
Yeah, we got a border with England. That's, that's too bad. Well, you're the one who flipped religions, England. It's not my fault. I would not be surprised if Rio de Prata and Brazil try to get independence here at some point. Nine percent attrition, gross. All right, you guys can heal up for a month. Actually, that's a pretty good mixture of guys. I guess I'll just take the same guys to New Zealand. Discovered Buffalo. Okay. What core just came in? Uh, Wadai has cord. Okay. Means we can colonize over here now. And we should do that. Get our troops there. As soon as we get our colonists to arrive in... Or as soon as we get our... As soon as we get our navy over here to Wangare, then we can... Colonize more of Africa. Still no good missions, but we'll keep checking. All right, heal up here for a little while. Just one month's fine. Actually, you know what? Let me get the trade ships out of here. Hold on. Trade ships, go back to protecting trade. That's your fucking job. Because currently, Portugal has the majority of trade on my home node. That's not cool. Should be able to make it all the way. Hey, 300 pop in Taranaki. Nice. Still no attrition. Good, good. Thanks to Flores, this is all considered home seas. Yeah, we're fine. Excellent. Hey, we converted Luanda. Okay, what's next? Hmm. Does it really matter what we convert? No, not really. They're all about the same. 30-something months each. Uh, we should keep relations up, though. Tani would be nice. He's interested. Ming, not interested. Uh, Russia's still not interested. Yusugi, for some reason he hasn't formed Japan yet. I guess he has to kick Korea out. But I will get relations up with him. Why aren't you forming Japan? I think he has to kick Korea out. We'll see. Hey, we got there just in time. Excellent. All right, so now that our colonists have arrived, let's yank out of here. Go colonize. Fantastic. And then hopefully we can discover these guys soon and go kill them. Alright, what is up with Mutapa here? What is your peace deal going to be? He's uh, attacking Ethiopia. He's probably going to full annex Ethiopia. That's my guess. But we'll see. Still no good missions.
What's our current idea group? Working on offensive. And we're not going to actually take any humanist ideas, I don't think. We might to prevent, prevent some rebels, but... Oh, shit. Local autonomy of one province is fine. We might take some humanist ideas to prevent rebels, but I don't know if it's really necessary. We could just go for other things. Could just go for other things. Like, um, administrative might be more desirable. Hey, Great Britain has spawned. Hello. What are we doing with our money? Um, are we over our naval limit? Yes. So not no more navy. Could build a little more army. Probably just some regular soldiers. Or, if not army, we could do some buildings. What's available? Universities. Hey, universities are here. Let's do it. God, they cost so much thanks to inflation. But yeah, universities are definitely what we need to do. Just everywhere. Ethiopia will cede a whole bunch of land. So the war's over. Mutapa did a good job. I'm surprised I can still rival Scotland. He's so small. Hey, Brazil's going for independence. And Timbuktu has joined. All right. So who's in this war? Brazil, Riza Prata, Peru. Um, do I have claims on Timbuktu? No. But I guess I can take one province. I'll take uh, Hayare. No. Erbanda. Lip taco? Uh, Air Bonda sounds good. I'll join the war. Commonwealth annexed Norway. Well, that's awesome. Never would have expected that, right? It's too bad I can't rival this guy. Could declare a separate war. That would bring in Tunis. No, this is not the time to take too much land. A separate war would definitely divide uh, my admin points up too, too thinly. Alright, I have joined the war. Congo will majestically ride into the sunset. And maybe take a province. Maybe. Might want to dock up my navy. I think I will. Because I'm sure these guys have a lot of heavies. No, they don't. They only have three heavies. They're not a threat. Oh, shit. Local missionary strength minus 25% for 10 years. Well, we're not going to be converting Dendi anytime soon. That stinks. We've been wasting money on that then. Oh well. Do we have a siege pip? No. A siege pip would be too convenient. Although we could hire another military leader. I don't know. We'll see. Portugal's arrived with a nice army. Good general, too. Let's start sieging this fort. It's going to take some time. Keep teching up, definitely. Oh, we unlocked some more ideas. Oh, shit. Hadn't even considered. We're going to want quantity at some point. We're also going to want defensive for that morale boost. Is there anything we can do to get more inflation reduction? Let me check for policies. Inflation reduction. Discipline, income for vassals. Uh, production, trade, global tariffs, naval maintenance, stability cost, rebel suppression. 
Dun, dun. Nope, there's nothing for further inflation reduction, and that really sucks. Could go for monthly autonomy change. That's kind of nice. With diplomatic ideas. Hmm. Don't need land force limit. Don't really need national taxes, although that would lower our reliance on gold. But we don't have plutocratic. We're the wrong type of government for that. Artillery combat. Nah. I think I like that monthly autonomy change. So going diplomatic could be really good for us. Shipbuilding time, trade efficiency, production efficiency, goods produced. Transportation Act would also be good, but I don't really want naval ideas. Yeah, I think I, I, think I like that plus 10% tax and minus 0.05 autonomy. That's pretty cool. Trade gets you off of gold reliance? Well, sort of. Hey, kitty cat. Trade would definitely boost our income from non-gold sources. Just via trade strength. Hmm. Hi, kitty cat. Deimos is on the desk. He wants attention. Influence would be nice for the lowered aggressive expansion. Diplomatic would be nice for the extra diplomat. Cheaper tech. Not sure I need the extra relations, but it couldn't hurt. Yeah, I think I'm going to go for Diplo. We'll still have to decide another military idea group soon. Probably defensive. Siege time is 44 days. Ouch. It's a pretty big fort. Portugal's engaging the Malian army, and Mali is Mali's going to win, I think. Mali's pretty strong. Yeah, Mali won the battle. Look at that. That's okay. Portugal just dropped off another stack. <laughs> we got the walls breached. Very nice. And now Molly's retreating. Okay, that's going to be bad for us because Molly's going to retreat all the way to the north up here, and he's going to come, and he's going to come down and attack us. But we should be ready. We'll have a lot of this sieged by then. Anim born in Sepetus. Anim and Betty. Yeah, it should be fine. Universities are finishing. I think I'm going to save up some money. Probably save a couple thousand ducats before we build some more universities. Oh, he went to his capital instead of... I thought he would retreat much further north, but he didn't. So Portugal could potentially come attack this very soon. Although I do think we're going to have to siege this fort before they can. Yeah, we can't walk there until we siege this fort. Neither can Portugal. Okay. Most likely he'll come attack me, so I need to back off. As soon as the siege is done, we need to back off. Where's he going? Okay, he's going that way. I think he's going to try to stop our siege and go and go. Okay. Portugal's on the way over, which could be good for us. Actually, yeah. Portugal, come defend me and go. Check mark on. No, he's not. He's not coming this way. Portugal. Son of a bitch. That would be fine. Finish the siege. Did we fail that? Are you kidding me? We failed it. We had Portugal helping us too, and we failed it. Wow. Unbelievable. Oh, Portugal's army has no soldiers in it. Port what the fuck, Portugal? His army has seven cavs, 15 cannons, and one soldier. <laughs> what? 
I thought it was a foregone conclusion that we'd have that fort. But no, Portugal's army is just completely fucked up. Alright, let me turn off the check mark. Get out of here, Portugal. I can't believe Portugal's army has one soldier in it. Like, what the fuck? That's a long way around. Where the hell is Port? Is he going all the way around? He is. Portugal's going all the way around. Ah, Spain's up here. Do we want to start getting ideas? Um, sure. Let's go through Diplomatic real quick. Get another Diplomat. We can use to maintain relations with somebody. Who else hates the Ottomans? Well, we already know who, we already know who hates the Ottomans. Uh, we should work on... Oh! Oh, Russia's losing a war to the Commonwealth. We should work on the Commonwealth, yeah. I thought we already did, though. No, we didn't. Okay, work on the Commonwealth. Oh, what is this? Wow, Tuscany's got a lot of troops up here. Tuscany is strong. Holy shit, Tuscany's strong. When I think about going to war with Spain, I should definitely have Tuscany on my side. Holy shit. Alright, here they come. And Portugal's nowhere to help. This is a problem. I mean, Portugal ran off... He's up here in Tunis. That's fucking stupid. We're probably gonna have to back away from this battle. That's okay. It's not over yet. No, no, it's over. It's over. We have no, we have no soldiers. We got to replenish our, 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 uh, our standing army. Not standing army. The actual. What do you call them? Infantry. We got to replenish our infantry. Because they got completely obliterated in that attempted siege. We're now twenty thousand manpower in debt. I don't know why Portugal ran off to the north. Like, why is he way up here? What's the point? I can't tell you. Now we just need to get our freaking manpower back. I guess what I can do is build buildings for manpower in the provinces that have completed universities. So let's see, where have we completed universities? Damn these buttons. Really, just two? We've only built two universities. Okay, well, manpower buildings it is.
I'll just keep doing it in that order. University, manpower, university, manpower, etc. Thankfully, they're pretty... Well, they're not cheap, but we can certainly afford them with our income. Wow, he's already at positive 14%. And he, butts, he busted the walls, too. God damn it. You know what, though? We're out of time for the episode today. Thank you for joining me. I've been Shen, you've been you. This is kind of a wasted war. Maybe I should have just not done anything. I don't know. Anyway, I will see you guys next time, where hopefully we'll discover these guys and start eating some of Eastern Africa. All right, I'll see you then. Have a good day.